Hello, I'm Dr. Ron England, and uh, we're going to do some XML here, but I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it is to actually do stuff with SVG. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm actually using an online scalable vector graphics tool called SVG Edit, and this is a tool that's online. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with red, and I'm going to draw a little oval here. Okay, so there's my oval, and I'm going to change the color down here to white, and I'm going to draw another oval. There's my oval. All right, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two and I'm going to select them. And I'm going to come up here and I am going to uh, group them together. So now they're one element. So now I've got this single element that's right here. And I'm going to clone it. Okay, so I've put those two elements together. Now I'm going to go back over here to my pencil tool and I'm going to draw a mouth. There we go. Now what I've done here is I've actually created some very complex X, uh, XML in SVG. I can view that XML. There's the XML there. Okay, I created these, this G, this group uh, of a ellipse and another ellipse and a group here of an ellipse and another ellipse. And then I created a path, which is an XML, SVG XML character, which um, is the line here. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to now embed this into my web page. Okay, so I'm going to move him out of the way for just right this second here, and I'm going to come over here to uh, uh, Expression Web, which I'm using as my editor here, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paste that SVG, and I'm going to call this Funny Face, but I'm going to paste the SVG into the body part here. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here, bring him back up, and a uh, nice thing about this little editor here is that I can click this button here, gives me the SVG. All I really need is the SVG, which by the way is everything that you see here. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Okay, I'm going to copy it. Okay, buy, buy here. And I want to now paste this into the body. Uh, paste. Okay, so now that SVG is actually pasted into here, and I'm going to save it. Okay, I actually had it as set up as SVG example. Once I've saved it, okay, I can now go File, Preview, and let's look at it in Internet Explorer. Okay, there's my face in Internet Explorer there that I created, and uh, you know I can do other things here after the SVG. Here I can say this is my funny face. I can now save it again. And I can now preview it again in the browser. And as you can see, there's the text that I just wrote. This is my funny face. And there's the funny face that I had. Um, I can do whatever else I want to do, but I've now got an embedded SVG graphics document inside of Internet Explorer. You can try this. It works in Chrome. It works in Firefox. It works in all the browsers. That is literally how easy it is to do SVG scalable vector graphics XML so hopefully I think you guys can can figure out how to put a good nice little SVG into your document thanks very much and uh, I do recommend that you do look at okay the SVG behind the scenes uh, that you have in this case and, and realize that it is actually quite easy there's your SVG okay there's your group tag there's your ellipse tag there's an ellipse, there's another group, another ellipse, there's my two eyes, and then the path, which is the, the mouth that you saw there. It's really that simple. Thanks very much. Good programming.